Krista, talk to me. This will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. There's more smoke than flame. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... build a big fire at night. It attracts too much attention. It's too dangerous when we're out here by ourselves. We need to eat, don't we? We can't survive without food. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet, then ice, then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold, or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. I miss Lee. I'm sure you do. <sighs> I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Still not enough. The flames are too low. will never burn. It's too wet.
This might burn. lie to us! Who do you think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt! You <gasps> fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself! Bullshit! She's lying! Cut the shit, lady! It's... it's just me! <laughs> what the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs> Fuck over here! Now! Fucker. Come out here, girl. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> Shit! Get the fuck over here! God damn it!
Krista, are you there? It's okay, boy. It's okay. <coughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. <coughs> What's he doing? Sam, where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Hmm, nothing edible. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we better not wait around to find out. Hey, 
Want to play? Want to play catch? Okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? <coughs> What's the matter, Sam? have to be quiet. Bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out, but that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Stand back. Okay? Stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food. Okay? <sighs> no food here, either. <sighs> well, here we go. God, thank you. Look, Sam, I can. Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. I guess you are pretty hungry, too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all.
I'm... I'm sorry, Sam. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you alright? I... I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- OH SHIT! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog! I didn't see any dog, Clementine. 
Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Uh, well, could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... you don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit. She was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. Uh you want to be sure, right? You don't want to do something you're going to regret. I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside.
I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. It probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. Turns out you're telling the truth. We'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Always got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches.
meeting in five minutes. That, that's true. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. <laughs> There's more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of it. Could be, we don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend and they got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. You really think Carver would come after us? You think he wouldn't? He's not exactly the type to let things lie. What happened, happened. There's nothing we can do about it now. Let him come. I really don't give a damn. Alvin! What? I don't!
not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Clean. I'll still need something to keep it from getting infected. That man from time. this baby. <laughs> Let it be okay. Let it be his. to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I just need something to clean it with. I bet it would be with the rest of your medical supplies. Yeah, it is. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. Hi there. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. If I help you, will you leave me alone? I don't want to get in trouble. I'll get the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, I'd better get somewhere safer to do this.
This is gonna suck. part. Now, just like last time, just how Crystal showed me. Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. 
Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow! How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. 
Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth! You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. 